Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the variance and the standard deviation. Okay, as we have discussed earlier about the mean deviation. So now I am telling you the drawback of finding the mean deviation or you can say that the limitation of the mean deviation is that it give it does not give us the representable data when the it does not give representable data when the degree of variability means the difference between the two terms is very very high is very high okay so in that case we need to find out the variance and the standard deviation okay so the formula for variance student is it is let me first write the definition of variances mean of squares of the deviation from the mean is called as deviation from mean is called as variance okay so it is denoted by sigma square is equals to 1 by n summation xi minus x bar which is square and i belongs to 1 to n okay so this is the formula for variance and the formula for standard deviation is student standard deviation so what is standard deviation student in the calculation of variance we find the unit of individual observation xi and the unit of are different from that of the variance so since variance involves a term like square so for this reason the proper measure of dispersion means how much the data is dispersed from the central value or you can say the mean value okay so it is expressed as a square root of this value and this is called as the standard deviation means the deviation from the mean value okay so this is the square root of only the variance formula okay so this is how students we need to find out the standard deviation and variance okay so uh, this is all about the variance and the standard deviation student and in the next lecture we will discuss some questions based on how to find out the variance and how to find out the standard deviation of particular set of data that is given to us okay and if you are still facing any issue or any question in this lecture then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning